Israel's been a part of my life, my entire life. Having the chance to live in Israel, live in a small town, live in a kibbutz, everything has changed as Israel has grown and developed, but Israel continues to be a vibrant, wonderful place. The thing I admire most about Israelis is their resilience. To have a dream of a homeland and to live towards that goal every single day despite all of the challenges. I think it's remarkable that the nation of Israel has started only 70 years ago, going from a country that is just starting up through very contentious times and now becoming one of the most advanced nations in the world. I find Israel to be an extraordinarily exciting example of how a people dedicated so greatly to their country and to its future accomplish so much. The sense of optimism that I find in just a short time I've been here, the determination, the resoluteness of the people, the understanding of their role in the world. This level of commitment and sense of duty and love of country that really helps to kind of frame their purpose. The attitude of Israelis was contagious in terms of, you know, business owners, just regular citizens there, there's, you know, that feel like the future is bright. People of all backgrounds, all faiths, all political denominations come together and support Israel. They share our values, they share our democracy, they have the rule of law, they participate in the modern economy. They've done so much to make this region and the world a better place. My 70th anniversary message to Israel is God bless you. Thank you for being such a wonderful country and a great people. You have inspired the world by your determination, your grit, your belief in your past history to carry you forward. And you've always kept the humanity of what your faith has taught you. The next 70 years will be even greater than the first 70. May God bless Israel and may God bless those who bless Israel. I wish you all the very best on your 70th. Stay strong, the best is yet to come. Keep at it, be encouraged, and know that the United States has your back.